guys, it's Afro Daviak here. If it's your first time, welcome. If not, welcome back. I love you when you guys come back and watch my videos. Speaking of coming back and watching my videos, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so you guys don't miss out on any new content I drop and that you can always stay involved. So today I wanted to take the time to share with you guys, as you can see by the title of the video, my weight loss journey. So I'm still working on my weight loss journey. I don't think it's going to necessarily be something that stops um because not only is it going to be like a weight loss journey it's just also a healthier living journey um if you guys follow me on instagram you've already seen that i had a goal for 2021 my goal is to lose 40 pounds so that that's a big deal for me and i've already been seeing myself make progress on it so i'm super happy about that like obviously i haven't lost the full 40 but like I think I'm down eight pounds now. So I started at 165 and my goal is to get to like 120, 125, that around that area. And some people are like, girl, why would you want to lose that much weight? It's like, okay, I don't necessarily want to lose all the weight. It depends how I look, to be honest. Um, in the past, like maybe what do we in 2021? Like, about three years ago, I was roughly, like, 125, so I would like to just get back to the weight that I had, unless I feel like my body looks different now, even when I lose the weight, so I would like whatever is optimal to me. Another reason that I wanted to lose 40 pounds, it's not necessarily, it's part of it, I'm not gonna lie, is vanity. I would just feel more comfortable being at 125 or, like, maybe 130, um, but it's also for health reasons. I feel like... Over the past couple of years, like in, in the process of me slowly gaining weight, like I can feel how it affects my body. Where like I feel like I'll feel heavier. I'll feel as if like I'll get back pains um, because you know I have a fairly large chest. So it's like I'm carrying the girls around everywhere and it's like the girls are fairly heavy. Or like I'll wake up and I'll have like a crick or whatever. So I'm like, I know health wise that's probably why. I feel like a lot of the times I'm extremely tired, or at least before I was extremely tired. I'm still tired, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, because I've been working out like five times a week, but I'll get to that later. I'm still fairly tired, but it's not the same tired before. The same tired is like physically heavy, tired, as if I'm carrying everything all the time. But now it's just like I'm sleepy, because I still don't sleep. Like, I just, that's another part of my health journey that I have to work on, giving myself those eight hours that I need. So, like I was saying, I just wanted to share with you guys how I'm losing weight, what I'm doing to lose weight, how I'm bearing myself health-wise, everything I'm doing to care for my body more, the things I did before, and the things I'm doing now, and what is working for me, and how I was, how I'm able to get to the person I want to be, if that makes sense. So it's like, it's not going to be, it's not going to be one video because, like I said, it's a journey, it's a lifestyle. Um, it's not, like like everybody says it's like not necessarily a diet but a lifestyle choice and I've seen that I was like yeah some of the choices I was I was making they were not the best choices like I'm, I'm questioning myself like the simple thing of right I see myself rice how I'm so accustomed like rice is just the staple of basically my every meal basically every meal and it's like rice is not it wasn't it wasn't that great like rice sits and it doesn't move so once I realized like oh my god like how much rice I ate first of all how much rice like the amount of rice you you're probably eating is probably not the right amount that you should be eating in general like maybe half a cup is where you should be at and that is not when you go to restaurants that's not what they serve you you get way too much and it's very it's very it just sits in your stomach so you're not gonna be energetic if you know what I mean I also wanted to share some like recipes and tips that I've been doing because as I know, I, I don't, I'm not in the kitchen. I don't belong in the kitchen. But with this change in lifestyle, I've had to be in the kitchen more. Like, I've had to prep meals. Not meal prep, like, in general, like, oh, every, like, cook on Sunday for the whole week. But I'd have to be like, hey, if I want to stay consistent and not fall off the wagon and go get fast food or something that's unhealthy for me, I have to cook at home most times. Like, if I don't cook at home, I'm most likely eating, like, Pollo tropical chicken, no rice, no fried plantains. Um, I'll typically have like their black beans or I'll have like a salad or something like that. 
when it comes to drinks, I would like to give you guys recipes when it comes to drinks, but I, for the most part, I've been drinking mainly water because I feel like anything else just makes it more difficult. Like added sugars, you can't really trust um, when it comes to store-bought things. It's like so many things have added sugars. It's just what's the point? Just drink water. That's what your body needs anyway. If I do have something fairly sweet or it's a drink that's not water, it'll typically be something like a juice that I blended myself or a smoothie. Like, I, the other day, I had, like, spinach, ginger, lemon, um, and green apple in, for a drink. Granted, it doesn't taste like apple juice. It doesn't taste like a green smoothie, but it's, like, I know it's better for my body. So, I also wanted to share, like, just the how I got to this point, just because, like, I feel like it's a part of this whole journey. Um, like I said, I used to be about 125, 120 to 1, between 120 and 130, somewhere in between there. And I feel like it, I used to dance. Like I used to be actively dancing at least three times a week. Like I used to be a part of a company back in 2018, I believe. And basically I just stopped. I had my last performance and I just stopped. And then I got caught up with school. I got caught up with work. I just got caught up with everything. And I think I went into the point, I don't know if this happens to a lot of people when you're like, you're, you're like, oh, your body deserves to relax. You deserve a rest. But it's like that rest just went on for like two, three years. I never took into, like before I didn't really have to take into account what I ate because I was always working out, working out, so I never really saw the effects of it, at least physically what I would see on my body. Although I, I was what society might have deemed fit back then, fairly skinny fit, I still wasn't, I still wasn't doing the best for my body. Like I was, I, I have the biggest sugar craves like it's so bad and it's gotten so much better since i've been changing my lifestyle but like back then even though i was dancing and i was very active like i go to school i take a nap when i get home and like i'd have dance practice afterwards what i would do is like say that like an airhead i'd have like an airhead to like boost me up to wake up to go to practice because I was just always so tired and but I was always having junk food and it's like oh I'll have like some sweet water or something and it's like that was not healthy that was not healthy I didn't know it back then because I was still fairly young I didn't learn much but now that I think about it I'm like damn that was that was not the best thing to do like I'd have to be like oh I have to have a cup of orange juice before I go something with like a lot of sugar for me to feel like I can get through the workout or whatever Okay, when you get, a, it's funny, when you get a little more money, like, you don't even have to be rich, like, you have more, you have, like, more, you have more to spend, I don't know how to say it, you have more money to spend, so you feel like, okay, let me go spend it, I'm gonna spoil myself, I was eating out way too much, and you don't even realize how much you eat out, because you'll be like, oh, eat out at a full-time restaurant, like, no, McDonald's is eating out that catches up with you, finger licking is eating out that catches up with you, um, every other way, like Benihana is catching up with you, Guy Kaka, all these restaurants are going to catch up with you, you don't realize how much you eat, how much you eat out, how much of it, like, the way you, they cook in the kitchen when you eat out is not the way you cook at home, it's so different and so unhealthy, but it's like, in moderation I guess it's okay, but I was not, I was obviously not eating in moderation. So take not eating in moderation and me not working out, not being active, anything, and me just being lazy. That's how I gained like 40 something pounds, 40, 45 pounds or whatever. And it's like, yeah, I was not taking care of myself. Like it was also, I was in the mentality of I have other things to do. And I think now I'm at a different point in my life where I realize it's like some things you have, what you put priority to is what you put priority to. I didn't put my health as a priority back then and I saw the repercussions of it. I said, I gotta work, I gotta study, I gotta nap, I gotta sleep, but my health was not my first priority. And I've realized like health really is wealth. Like you are, I feel like you should not cut corners when it comes to your health. Um, granted, not everybody has that, that luxury to actually put value towards their health, put money towards their health and care for themselves. But at this point, it's like I let myself get that way. So now I'm just like reversing it, reversing all that and trying to be like not necessarily I know I said I want my body back but it's like just better generally to myself at least like right now physically so 
during my journey, it's been about a month and a half, and it's like I've already seen changes. Like I see my body changing. You're not gonna see it right now, but I see like my body at least changing from the sides. Like I see my curves pop back out. I'm like, oh girl, you look really nice. But what I've learned from like what I've been doing so far is like you have to be active. Like I, I'm, especially with the pandemic, I've seen myself very stagnant, staying home, not really moving much, not going outside because things are so limited that I, bec I became a couch potato. So that made things even worse. People are just, you're, I understand why people are gaining weight, just things like, cause there's, you have to be in some way complacent, like just staying where you are. But at the same time, you can't live your life like that. It's not healthy. Another thing I learned is like, as much as I hated being in the kitchen, it's like, it's funny. Like I'm like, now I'm excited a little more when I cook something for myself to see how great it's like. I threw, the other day y'all, I made some steak. I threw down. I'm so proud. I threw down on that steak. Your mama could fight me about the way I made that steak. It was so good. But before I didn't have that, I'm just like, yeah, I was. It teaches you that you have to prep, you have to prepare, you have to think of yourself in the future term, not like not only now, because I was always like, hey, I would eat when I realize I'm hungry. Once I'm hungry, that's when I'm ready to eat. That's when food needs to be here. So I just go buy something, and that is horrible. That is so horrible because you're just going to put whatever you can into your body and that's not what your body needs. Another thing I've learned is once I push past my laziness, and it's not only in my workouts, like me being consistent when it comes to me trying to do my content, me when I'm working out, me when it comes to work itself. Once I push past that point it's like of laziness, like I don't want to do this, I don't want to get out of bed, I, act, I don't regret it. I don't regret what I did. Like I saw this post where it's like nobody regrets going to the gym. And it's like it's true. Like I hate when I have to go work out. But afterwards when I'm done, I'm not gonna say it's like dang, this was a waste of my day, this was a waste of my time. It's like I'm I'm happy I did it. Like I pushed through it's oh I be pushing through y'all. Like, my my heart, my chest, huffing and puffing. And I wanted to share videos and photos with you guys. I might put a couple in the video. But it's like, I, I kind of get embarrassed, but I'm like, kind of get embarrassed if y'all see me huffing and puffing in these videos, struggling to run, titties flopping everywhere. It's just, I'm sorry. But I feel like that's a part of the journey and for people to learn from, like, maybe can be an inspiration to somebody. Another thing I want to share was, this is not the first time I've tried, like, taking matters of caring for my body and going on uh, changing my lifestyle, changing my diet. Like I've seen so many diets on YouTube that I don't feel are necessarily sustainable. They're not. They're not gonna last long. Um, like I remember trying the juice diet, the smoothie diet, and I think it was from Sophiology. It's like it, it was working for a minute, but it's like there comes a point I can't just eat cold fruit m breakfast, lunch, dinner every day and feel fine about that. At least with what I'm doing now, like you have to be active, guys. Your body needs to be used. It's it's what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to be used. So it's like, yeah, just eat this, this, and this. You don't even have to work out. It's like, that's, that doesn't, I'm not going to say it doesn't make sense, but I don't think that's the right way to go about things. And then even with keto, I've never tried keto, but I don't see keto being something that can work for me because it doesn't sound healthy to me to just strictly do fat, 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 no carbs. Like, I feel like, and the second you have a carb, you blow up. You have a vegetable, you blow up. And it's like, that's not healthy to me. That's never, I don't think your body should be running that way. But what I do Basically, I've cut out things like rice, pastas, the things that I eat so much that I know don't give me much energy, that don't give much substance to my body, like rice, pastas, bread, all those filler foods. I still have potatoes from time to time, like sweet potatoes, mashed potatoes, but not as big. It's like the amount that I've had has decreased tremendously because I didn't realize how much food I was eating just to fill me up just I, I didn't do anything for substance i didn't do anything for energy to get me through the day it's like i just don't want to be hungry and even then when i would do these things they would fill you but then they would overfill you but then it just sits in your stomach and it's like you feel horrible after you eat it and another thing that made me think like when it came to my health journey like how i used to be even though it wasn't i like wasn't the idealistic way of how i would have wanted my health and body to be it was something to move towards to like, I think about back in high school, they really had us working out an hour a day, five times a week, and we thought nothing of it. And it's like, that I feel like that's kind of that's kind of what it's supposed to be. Like, like, you're supposed to be active. You're supposed to be moving at least for an hour. And I don't know what happened <laughs> between then and now, 
But like that hour five times a week really was it, it seemed like a drag to me. But lately, like in the past month and a half, that's what I've been doing. Like five times a week, I'm working out for like at least an hour, and I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm tired. But it's tired as in like, oh, I physically worked, I gave my energy, da, 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 da. instead of like, I can't hold myself because I never had that energy to give. And it just made me think of how, like when, especially when coming into adulthood, how you, you, when you prioritize things, you're like, this doesn't matter, I need to get this money, I need to get this, I need to do that. But you really aren't putting your body and your health at value. It's like, I had to think, it's like, dang, like what happened? Like in my youth, when I didn't have to worry about this stuff, it just got done. And like you wake up at five o'clock in the morning, stay up till eleven, things got done. You did all these extracurriculars. Now I do my my nine to five. I'm done. I clock out. I'm tired. I want to sleep. And it's like it's because I'm not being, I'm not caring for my body. And it's like I can't I can't live like this. I can't live like this. And then another thing, y'all, if y'all didn't know already, I'm I'm engaged. It's like ugh, Miss Miss thing gonna be looking real nice in her wedding dress. I just know I'm gonna, I need to look nice in my wedding dress. And for me to look nice, I would like the body that I prefer. Granted, it's like, hey, there's nothing wrong with the body that you have. Loving your body in every way, shape, that form that it is. But as for me, it's like, I prefer to be more toned, be more lean. That's my, that's my preference for myself. Hopefully, like, by the end of this journey, it's like, one goal I can possibly have, hey, run a mile without being tired. Like, guys, I can't run. I'm just huffing and puffing. That's why, that's, why, that's why I am right now. So maybe, let's say in like three months, I'll be generous, three months, I come back and you guys see in the next video, it's like, guys, I, I ran a mile. I ran a mile, no problem, no sweat. And it's like, I would like for you guys to cheer me on and be a part of this journey and just, you know, support me. But, you know, I'm going to support myself regardless. I'm going to keep doing it, whether y'all support me or not. But it would be nice if y'all support. I'm gonna have some clips of like the things that I eat or what I drink and how I work out if I can, just for you guys to have an idea. Like if you're interested or like finding something that works for you, always find something that works for you. Like whether it be like getting a trainer if you can afford one, getting like running around your neighborhood if you can, just doing active sport, playing tennis in your neighborhood. I feel like just finding something that gives that healthy medium for you and like making things work for you is the best thing you can do for your body. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching and staying and just being a part of this journey with me. I would love to see you guys in the next video. So don't forget to watch the previous video and the video that's gonna come after this in the following week or so. And until then, bye.